said, Brian's going to be gone for two weeks. I'll be uh, running the ship per usual. Uh, I'll probably be doing estimates too. And uh, if you didn't know, I can message one. Go ahead and let everyone in. Um, y'all, CJ, Connor, y'all scoot down, give them some room. Um, I can message command center on my phone. So I'll, I'll rely on them heavily instead of me calling or emailing a customer, I'll just shoot them, hey, tell this person this, tell this person that, and free me up a lot. Uh, the main estimates I hope to do are Christmas lights. I know me and Brian are gonna set up ads to, we have a Christmas light website, AugustaLights.com. So that'll be my focus along with running the business. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, things are getting easier. Um, your days are getting, for some of you, shorter, and uh, should be a breeze running things for two weeks while Brian enjoys that trip. Um, waiting on Dylan, because he's got a slip to read with Brandon. Go ahead and join me. We'll wait till Dylan's in here before we read it. Chris, TJ, Jordan, Brian, for you. Since Carol Fabrics is shared, we all read that one at last, and your partner's not here, so. Um, I know on yours, for that initial mow, Jordan, I know you didn't mow, so explain who did what, and uh, we're listening. Uh, Carl Prescott per performed an initial mow and missed a few spots, he did the edge twice. Initial mow is our first impression. Do not rush them. Uh, I was going real fast. It's no excuse. I had to leave. My girlfriend was broke down on the side of the road, uh, which led to some spots getting missed. Maybe just need to slow down and take my time even if I'm rushing. Right, like we discussed, yeah. ultimately, vehicle one moving anywhere, so five more minutes to make a better impression. Um, probably wouldn't have changed much yeah, for the rest of the year. started at this, but we weren't even started when we got there. So I was already rushing from the get-go, but I was still the first, so. It doesn't mean to rush it and leave it that way. Thank you. Uh, 30 comments, we're having the first thing in the video, back patio, crack loose. Just make sure you're spraying your crack loose and knocking them down. Knock so, and, and speaking with you, um, what, what did that client also, oh, yeah. that client uh, said he didn't want any ground up spray in the backyard, but I feel like the bed may have been the bed in there. Because then that may have stopped Jordan, or Jordan would have read that and maybe a different outcome. Yeah. All right. You want to go ahead and read Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Drew and Adam tracked time and went over the tent gym video for weeds and mid mid edges, crack weeds, driving. Full time. Full time because of the size of the property team that went over the year more than So that's a to interject, that's a shared yellow slip. Uh, I looked at the last two teams that went there and uh, I wanted to highlight Drew and Connor for reaching out to me and saying, hey, I, I really feel like there's some things here that are amiss. Um, weeds throughout the front beds, edging in the back where um, unless you're really on top of it, it could get skipped. And the notes are in there because of this exact situation, people going in there, realizing you can do it much faster than the time allotted, and then it end up building up, and someone, one of the core values, doing the right thing when no one's looking. Drew and Connor come, and they're like, hey, this place should be really easy this time of year, but it kind of looks pretty crappy. So, um, in yellow slip culture, there are yellow slips where you guys don't go over, like most of the uh, the first two that were read, no one went over, but um, there's no money affected until people go over and they have to spend extra time to get their property back right. So um, that's why the notes were there to spend the full time. Jordan had the opportunity to say, hey, this place is messed up. Chris had been there a couple weeks before that. And so we really got to mind our notes and take care of Hero Fabrics. That way no one shows up, shows up and goes over. Brandon Dillon, what you got? Um, the time was the end of the day. The past two times down there, we got to get the most of the day. We got to watch TV. Yep. So we can make sure we watch the video. Where else did that 
11. The first instance. Sylvia. Yeah, so two times they've missed a video. Mm -hmm. And um, the video's there because either myself or Brian has communicated to a client something's going to get done or there's something we are or are not going to do part of their mowing, and you got to watch it. I understand how taking a couple minutes and watching the video is maybe not something other companies may do, but it's a way for us not to have to call to try to keep something on the top of all of our heads, especially when I've never been to a property, uh, only Brian's been there. Because if you call me and ask about some notes, I might tell you, I've, I've never been there, I, I don't quite know, I know we've had that conversation, and that's why there's a video. Now, was that a, is that a property note on there to watch the video? Like Correct, the yeah, there's a note that says, search client's name to watch the video. And so I think you guys were there on Tuesday of last week, the Friday before that, I had spoke with Daniel. There was a small bed in the backyard, a little overgrown, and he survived three price increases uh, with the company. So if he asked, hey, can we weed eat and spray this bed? I'm gonna say yes, because he's gone from 60 or 70 a mo all the way up to 90. So I'm gonna throw a dog a bone and work with him there. Speaking of uh, price increases, so it's a good time couple things have been mentioned I kind of got something in my brain I wanted to kind of make make y'all aware of um, y'all ever heard of a sticky service like a product that is sticky as in it would take a lot for you to cancel or or change Do y'all have any subscriptions or anything that you use that you feel like you know what I'm just not gonna change it do no, I have anything that's my, oh, my right. Hulu Hulu's over hundred dollars you can start at like seven ninety nine. Now that's the basic of course but they've raised my price twice or three times I got an email they're doing it again October 12th but I'm not leaving because I'm happy with it yeah and even their basic service mm -hmm. has gone up probably double over the past five years something like that mm -hmm. I think probably like from seven to fifteen I think maybe uh, anyways Verizon anybody wireless. else got anything Verizon yeah. wireless. super I easy Great customer service. Oh, um, yeah. What else? I'm trying to think of something. Jimmy, do you still have um, internet? Yep. Gym membership. Gym membership. Yep. yep. And there's a reason why. Uh, like live TV. they you stay sticky, it. right? You use it. Yeah. What's What's the, the reason? The reason why is because we as people want easy solutions, right? And today's today's age, I don't want to have to talk to anybody. I don't want to have to. I just don't. If I want a service, I want it yesterday. And so us in the lawn care industry, we are the only sticky service provider in this area because most people, uh, the, the uh, vast majority of lawn care providers are owner operators, one guy in a truck. That's probably 85% of all lawn care companies. And so they get paid by, the terms are very foggy, um, if there's any terms at all. Some of it's leave cash on the, the near the grill. I've picked up cash in the grill before when I was an owner operator under the mat. You know all these weird little places. Um, communication wise, getting a hold of them for anything, not gonna happen. You want to change anything? You want to skip a mow? No. You get you get damage on your property? <laughs> Good luck, buddy. There was, um, there was so, a connect Augusta post this weekend. The lady had a commercial building, two windows broken. Said, hey, you know, notice this. Um, are you can you fix it does your insurance cover it and he said no my insurance doesn't cover it it does and he disappears never to be found again yeah and so the glue if you will that keeps us sticky what do y'all think it is why do you think people uh survive you know was that that guy has gone up 65 percent in his price uh roundabout or around 50 to 60 percent in his price over the past um i don't know three years mm -hmm. four years what do y'all think that stickiness is I think that they feel like they get the pro the value out of what they're paying for. They get a quality product for what they're paying for and they're willing to pay it. Yeah, exactly. They're getting, what, they're getting what they want when they want it. If Consistency, they call, yeah. If they call or email, yep. it's Davis or Daniel emailed me. Uh, we've never done his beds. Have one bed that you could run the weed eater through and spray it and keep it sprayed, be very easy, and it got done. You know, so luckily I was scanning lists and I caught it for them and I sent and I sent them back. But things like that, things like having reminders, us consistently coming on Tuesday or Wednesday, stuff like that. Yeah. And you guys, like to be honest with you, I don't know if y'all been in a lot of rooms of landscape 
professionals or landscape businesses, but you guys, y'all are awesome. Like you look professional. I'd invite you in my house uh, with my family to eat, eat dinner. Um, you know, y'all care. Um, and then it takes all of us, right? All of that gives them that experience, that warm and fuzzy, right? Those five-star reviews that, you, that you're going to, you're not asking for five-star reviews if you've been, you know, kind of gruff and you're in a bad mood and, you know, the service was, was you know, not all that you could give. Um, the people that answer our phones in Bellingham and the Philippines and Max AI, it's all, a part, it's all a part of that for better or worse, some of it, but no. Um, most of it is very good. Like the people at Command Center are awesome. Um, when Jeremy answers the phone, I don't know if you've ever, has anybody ever witnessed Jeremy talk to a customer when a customer's angry? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's awesome, isn't it? Like, that's yeah. who I want to talk to when I'm pissed off. Um, except for Roy's neighbor, I'd have, I'd have shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you guys, all of us are a part of that. And that's the reason why this company is going to have the profits that it has is because we can raise prices on demand when we have to. And we have to, the reason we have to is to get profit. Every year, cost of stuff goes up. And most people in the service industry do not raise prices. I can remember, I didn't raise prices for, shoot, quite some time, six years, seven years. Nah, that can't happen. This, so This guy used to hate getting just a mow. It, like when somebody called for just mowing the grass, he would inflate the shit out of the price. <laughs> And then these, these other people would want their beds and bushes done, and they'd get a sweet deal. And we totally it was backwards, that. yeah, it was yeah. backwards, man. I, I used to love, nothing I love more than a difficult yard that was pristine, like on the hill. I just, I don't know why. I just like it. I like pain, I think, is probably the reason. But um, that's, that's just trauma. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to love that. Now, mow and blow, baby. Hey, man, you don't want us to edge? Good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's fine don't call us don't email but, us those are the best yeah guys. i just wanted to explain that to you like sticky services um if you're in a business in a service business or a you know sas or whatever um whatever you're in you want it to be sticky so that All you right. can raise prices so those are the christmas shirts if you don't like them i'm sorry um on fee for pink if you look at your calendar please um the 5th through the 11th you guys got paid for last week the 12th and the 13th, you're still owed 40%, right? All of last week, the time sheets of the reports you got were at 40%. Why? Why all those 33? Because on last Monday, I changed everyone back to 33%. I went to do payroll, and then I was looking at the numbers, and I was like, well, that's kind of light. And uh, turns out by changing your individual profile to 33%, went and undid all of the timesheets instead of at 40, back to 33. And, it, and I know that might be confusing, especially in a big group, but on your check this week, Thursday and Friday will be at 40%. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will be at 33. And so what, if any of you are calculate, calculating your own P for P, um, there's gonna be a difference in what I have and what you have. So please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to come talk to me about what some timesheets said. Any immediate questions about that? Yeah, it'd be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said, well, well we are just for uh, so September the 11th would be the final. So the, all right, the last, what you got paid for on the 19th of September was actually for the 5th through the 11th of September. And then the, what? So, which means we can, we, we get paid here now. We, when we get paid for Wednesday here, should be from the well, 6th. No, the next, the next pay period, you get paid this Thursday, the 26th, and that's for the 12th through the 18th. You're gonna have two days, the 12th and the 13th will be 40%, 16th, 17th, 18th will be 33%. But what I'm trying to say is the 16th, 17th, and 18th, you know the email you get or the report, it's at 40% because I haven't changed it yet. So there might, it's gonna be a difference in what's actually put in versus what you may have calculated. But if you want me to go over it day by day with you, I'm more than happy to. I just want to announce that to everybody because there could be some confusion. Obviously, you can't you can't change it on the date. You have to change it globally. It's either forty percent or it's thirty three, and it doesn't it doesn't understand it. 
to, to change it like in one date and have everything else be okay. Right, so I just kept it at 40, and uh, after this pay period, it's gonna change to 33, and we can trust the reports. But like I said, if you want me to go over it day by day with you, more than happy to. All right, um, no slips are done, P4P discrepancies. A um, couple of things that I wanna see and be an improvement upon. Um, somebody, I'm not gonna name a single name because I can't tell you who, who is sharpening shitty blades. So I want all of you, when you sharpen, to bring me the blades so I can look at them and make sure someone's not half-assing things. A um, couple, this happened last week. Uh, who had a contractor in their way last week? Or what you thought? Didn't you have one? I thought I had the week before. Maybe, they all go together sometimes. But um, in Cam and Matt's situation, it was actually a homeowner. They owned a bouncy house thing, they would have if they were in the grass, they would have moved it right out of y'all's way and let y'all do the service. So I urge you to talk to them. Sometimes maybe you can work around them and uh, get on some common ground there. Last Thursday, I can't speak for every single person in the room, but I'd say six out of eight trucks didn't check their fluids. Uh, I was going to go around the room and make everyone talk, but I'm just going to ask, is there anything, any reason why we shouldn't check them? like to know why. McKee, there is a mower you were using a couple years back. What happened? Uh, the motor blew up. Motor blew up. Why? No oil. No oil. Sorry to put you on the spot. Those are $2,000 and um, there's two values I'm going to hit on in this meeting. Um, doing the right thing. Connor and Drew did that. And round of applause for taking the time and cleaning up Carol Fabrics. Thank you all very much. Um, good is never good enough. At this moment in time, we have profited over $130,000 in Augusta. So the business is doing great financially, but good is never good enough. And so I demand that we check fluids. We have to, we have to do it every day. Um, do I pop your hoods for you sometimes in the mornings? Yes, but. Just because it's not pop doesn't mean you can just skate out of here. Um, went over Connor and Drew. Um, someone stole Connor's Red Bull out of the fridge. Whoever did it, you had the balls to take it. But when I asked everyone who took it, no one had the balls to say they did. And that is not the first time he's had something stolen here. So if I catch that, you will be eliminated. I don't give a shit. If it's a $3 Red Bull, it's not right. So don't fucking steal anything. Um, damages. After speaking about cleanout caps, I've seen several photos of tops just taken right off of them. If I find you hiding that, it might be a $20 damage. You will be eliminated. And I don't like speaking like this to y'all. It's not fun, but we got to cut this shit out. Good is never good enough. What you got? I just had a thought. I don't know if it would, it would be good or if it would work, but at the end of the day, if y'all put your hoods up, it reminds y'all uh, to check them in the morning. That or you just wouldn't have to do it, but yeah, not a bad thing. Um, so we've had a Red Bull and other things stolen. Yellow slips, I'm sure if you just read one, you don't enjoy it. I'm tired of writing them and things are slowing down. So let's all agree to take our time, eliminate yellow slips. If you make a small damage, own up to it. Let me know. Uh, don't steal someone's shit out the fridge. Uh, Connor's gonna start writing his name on his Red Bulls. Uh, that way you know. Um, if we go to a gas station, together i urge y'all to think positively and not talk about people that aren't there and uh like brian said we do great we're making we're making money uh for the first time ever an amount of money that's actually exciting and uh which some of you that qualified for the for profit share will get on october 4th i just got the pnl for august and it's looking very very good and I want y'all to have a good day. I want y'all to check your fluids and take the small things serious. Anyone have anything they'd like to add? All right, let's go. Josh Scott, let's talk projects. The rest of y'all, let's get started. Yeah.